That, mm -hmm. uh, half the quantity is gone already on these. We want to pick them up. Like I said, Amazon last night, people went crazy. They're like, oh my gosh, that's such a great idea. And you'll get three. So I would use them at every jack that you have in your house, but maybe you only got one or two jacks. Give one to the neighbor or whatever. You know, spread it out a little bit because this all hour, as we, as we talk about September, is for emergency preparedness month. You need, it's, it's a couple little steps in advance that protects you throughout the year. Aaron, great job as always. Thank Thanks, you, buddy. Thank hey, coming up in this hour, we got some great home solutions. And one of the things we have for you is called the Fire Aid. I presented this one time and I was indoors when we presented it, so I never got to see it actually work live. I'm excited because we are going outside and we're gonna show you how everybody needs Fire Aid. I don't care if it's a grease fire, you know, fire in the kitchen, indoor hour, outdoor fire, whatever, you're gonna be prepared. You're gonna get four cans of this stuff. The inventor, amazing guy, uh, who spent a, a lot of time figuring out the recipe for this, but you wanna put out a campfire? Don't throw water on it, don't work, right? Especially grease fires, things like that. Use the fire aid. We're gonna show you demonstrations that are gonna blow you away. And I don't even know how many of you have checked your, your uh, fire extinguisher recently or even know how to use it. These, like a, like, like a spray paint, a spray paint. Just hit the button, point and shoot, and the fire goes out. That's coming up a little bit later, and it is a huge, huge customer pick, everybody. So stay uh, attuned for that. Let me introduce you to this hour. I'm Guy, my friend Linda Lyde is here, professional contractor by trade. Yep. And she knows a lot about tools. Let me just tell you, if you, if you can create something or build something or tear it down, she knows how to do it. <laughs> yeah. So she's the perfect person to talk about our next product, which is from Magna Tools. Mm -hmm. This is our five-in-one emergency tool. As we continue with kind of our emergency uh, programming uh, during this block, I am telling you, and I said these to Linda ahead of time. I hope you never have an opportunity to use this. Right. But boy, this will save your bacon if you're stuck in a bad situation. It is a whole bunch of help in a very small package. When you order, you will get two of these. Yep. So keep one, give one to your partner. Everybody should have this in their vehicle. It's on a little keychain, so there's no excuse not to have it. And Linda, I mean, there's a whole bunch of bad stuff that could happen to us <laughs> when we're well when we're on the road. Right? Well, you know, this is one of those tools that it just gives you peace of mind. Now, there's two items on this tool that you're going to use a lot, right? The other three, maybe not so much, right. but they're there if you need them. The flashlight, you're going to love the flashlight because there's so many different uses for it. The seatbelt cutter, you have uh, the red flashing light, you have a tire gauge. Now, the flashlight and the tire gauge are the ones you're gonna use the most. But let me just kind of walk you through it because yeah. look at this, this is what I have on my keychain. This is the Magna tool and check this out. I'm just gonna show you that this, look how much smaller it is than a credit card. The profile is quite small as well and it's so easy so that when I put it in my car, it just hangs there nicely. But guess what folks, if I was to need this in an emergency, this breaks away. Now, when you break this away, you have the seatbelt cutter here, you have a whistle, you have a light, and I'm gonna show you the light. I'm just gonna go through this really quickly and then I'll slow it down, okay? We have the red flashing light, you have the tire gauge. Now, it's the, honest to gosh, it's gonna be the tire gauge and your flashlight you're going to use the most. But then the other things, the seatbelt cutter and also this that will break the glass okay so let's just kind of like run through it really so a little bit slower for you so that you actually see what's going on and I'm going to put my keys over here so that the keys don't get in the way now check this out let me see one of your cards can I see the back of your card like you maybe a logo something? or something yeah, no hold on. I want to show you because I really want to show you the light on this because the light is quite nice and the light's cool you're going to be Loving the light when it, if you had to change a fuse or if you had to, see this? Here we go, here we go. And we're gonna bring the lights down in a minute. But what's nice is when you go and you have to read that menu in the light and you don't wanna put that bright wow, cell phone really light, bright for a little light, it's really, really bright. Also the same thing is if you have to change your fuses up underneath your car, you're going to love it. So we all know how wonderful a flashlight is and how yeah. many uses it comes in, right? So you have that on your keychain. The next thing that you'll notice is you have a red flashing light. Now the red flashing light, folks, this is really important, very important at nighttime. And we gals, we know that there's, you know, we hear that term stranger danger. 
A red flashing light means that I can stay in my car if I have a flat tire or something. I just put that red light on and when the service truck comes up, they know where you are. Also, you're going to see that over here, I have this now ready to set up to put it on my tire. When you go on a trip, if you're like me, I always make sure that all my tire pressure is correct sure. because I want to get great gas mileage. I don't want to have any trouble. Yeah. And also, the newer cars have that light that flashes up and you say, sure. oh, what's going well, on? There's no other way to do it unless you go to a gas station. So this <laughs> is kind of nice. Right. So let me just show you this <clears throat> because right here, I'm going to turn this on. And we use PSI here. But if you are European and you want to use all the different metric versions, we, we have that. You can Adam, toggle through that. <laughs> you're Adam Freeman. <laughs> Absolutely. Okay, so let me just show you. I push this down, and what I like about this is that it will give me the reading right there. See, it's 41 pounds. You see that? Yeah. I need, I need air in this tire, right? Now, you can't tell. You never can tell on a tire, but you have that pressure. And what I like about this, I can check my tires without having to go and wait in the line to get air pressure because yeah. for some reason it's always a big line, right? Okay, those, the flashlight and the tire pressure, you're going to use the most. Now, guess what? This is a breakaway, and I love this because you just literally pull it, and guess what? This turns into a whistle. <laughs> Right? So I'm not going to blow it too hard on Thank you, you, right? No, that's <laughs> but okay. anyway, you have a whistle if you need it. But this is the seatbelt cutter. Now, that whistle that I just showed you actually protects that blade here. Mm -hmm. But watch this. If you are in and submerged in water, and we've all heard about those things that have happened just recently with the hurricane, and you're trapped because uh, suddenly your electrical has gone, something has gone wrong in your car, yeah. and then let me just show you really quickly. All you're gonna do is you're gonna just like go right, right through here with your blade, and it'll cut like this. Well, let me just do it. The, will you hold this? Yeah, just, let me hold it, right. Yeah, thank you. Okay, so you're gonna cut right through the blade here. Mm -hmm. Maybe they somebody used this. Hold yeah, on, yeah. let's see this. Hold on, try this one. So, okay. Yeah, there it is. Okay, so, and this will, there we it go. is. This will slice Somebody right has been through. using that, but let me show you again how easy this is. Evidently, that one has been used before, but you're going to literally go cut straight through it, and suddenly it's going to go on. And remember, your seatbelt is yeah. going to be so much smaller right, right, and thinner, right, right. right? Yep. Okay, so you have that. The next thing that you're gonna have, which I think is really, really important, and remember, as you go into the water and it starts to fill up, you have to get out of that car in a nanosecond. So let's talk about glass. The window glass is glass that will go, the moment that you like puncture it, it will go into a bunch of pieces. And we have that here. Where's the red one over there? Yeah, right really? here, okay. there it is, yep. So on this side, let me just show you how this works. When you push, 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 there's a spring that's loaded here and you have to push really hard, okay? You have to push really, really hard in order for that to happen. But it hammers in and I'm gonna show you exactly what you do. If your car starts to fill up with water, you go to the edge, the corner of your door window, okay? And all I want you to do is you're gonna press, 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 right? And you're gonna press it. Whoa. And then that's how the glass breaks, that fast. And you can get out of your car. Wow. Now, remember, this is only in emergency situations. All of the other things, this is, look at this. Now notice how you have teeny, teeny pieces of glass. They designed this so that you are going to be safe getting out of your window. When water hits your electrical system, Guy, a lot of times what happens is that it just completely makes everything go dead, go dead. in your car. Yeah. So you can't get your you know, seat belt open, right? but you're probably never gonna have to use that. However, it gives you that peace of mind yeah. just in case so you that that's what, you're, that's what you're gonna need. And, and all it, those different jobs all in one little package. By the way, they come in red, they come in gray, and they come in blue. Uh, you're gonna get two of them. So get, you know, keep one, give one. I would, I would honestly have one in every car that you drive because you never know when you're gonna need it. You never know when you're gonna have to pop the glass. That's right. You know, you hear about people that go off the road. A poor, a poor person went off the road here not too long ago. Oh. Uh, you heard about that. Over yeah, the it bridge. was terrible. Over right the bridge. in and the it, water. And you know, it, you hope you have the right tool to be able to get you out of that. Right. If you'd like this, it's on FlexPay. Eight dollars and change is all it will cost you. Linda, great job. Thank you, yes. That's and a, you're gonna love it for the tire pressure. Thing, a handy little thing Absolutely. you really, really should have. That's right. 631-376 is the item there. Hey, coming up a little bit later, 
in lots of great sort of emergency type things. And I own this. It's our Earthwise uh, convertible pole saw. This is the one that I own, which it could be a handsaw or it could also be a pole saw. It's only $79.95. They put it on sale today. And I am telling you this thing, I use it. I probably use this more than anything else in power tools that I bought here from HSN. I use it, I had palm trees that are like eight, nine, 10 feet tall and I couldn't get to the fronds, so I just cut them down using my pole saw. No pull start, no gas, no oil, you plug it in, it works great. I bought one for my brother. He brought it up to Vermont, he was trimming all trees around his house. And you can do this, it extends, so if you're a shorter person, you can reach, look at that. You know, you'd have to get in a ladder. Not anymore, not with this pole saw. $79.95 and now is the time of the year to get it as we're getting into uh, fall and you want to trim up all the branches and trees, a pole saw will be uh, perfect for you. That's coming up in just a little bit. All right, we're doing a little giveaway here. This is from Flippo. This is the three-in-one flame glow lantern. I own these as well. I love the fact that it comes with the natural candlelight uh, uh, flame inside. It's one of the options that you have. You're gonna get um, three of these. All right, so this is three emergency lanterns for $24.95 on clearance. They took $15 off the price. It's only $8 to get it home. That's our flex pay. Look at that display. It makes an ideal camp lantern. It's great for the kids when they're having sleepovers. Whether you're hiking on the patio, you have a power failure and you need light, these things are amazing. Everything that you need is included, even the batteries, it's all good to go. Yvette Lopez is here. She's gonna tell us about it. We've got colors available, comes in blue. You get three of the red. We have three of the gold, or you can get three of the black. That's what you these, want? I love these. I know you do. They're the cutest little lanterns ever, but they, they're practical. They, there's a lot of, you get a lot of bang for your buck here. Yes, very practical. Because whether, when you have them like this, you can, when you pop them open, you get a lot of light. But if you close them down, you can sort of lower the light yes, as you, you want. Yes, you can, just like that. I mean, they're brilliant. Look at Literally. that. Literally, look at that. Hey, and love you know them. what? You get the batteries too. How about that? Everything <laughs> is included, and one, two, three boxes. Yeah. So if you want to give these as a gift to somebody, you can do that as well. Absolutely. Yeah. In fact, you'll want to get them as a gift. You'll want to keep some for yourself because what Flippo is bringing us is that very classic lantern look, but with just a flick of a switch, you can have that very bright LED light. This is COB LED, so the very, um, the highest level of technology and, and LED light out there. But then what's great about it is, like you said, Guy, all you have to do is collapse it, press a couple buttons, and now you have a very bright LED flashlight. And you can flip over the handle, and I'm doing this without readers. There it is, look at that. And you can use that. it as a searchlight. My favorite. So um, you have three different uses for one lantern, but you're getting three of them. So all three of them do the different things that you need them to do. I know we've been talking a lot today about being prepared when the power goes out, sure. things like that. And whenever we can bring down the lights, I just want you to see just how bright they are because these have had, um, this has been a customer pick when they were $15 more. and. I read the reviews because I really like to know what you guys like about them. And what I've seen over and over again is these weigh half a pound. They're compact. They're easy to take with you. But wow, they get so bright. The bang that you get for your buck here, look at how bright these are. So you can set them down and you're hands free, right? Or you can hang them. Yeah. You can do anything you want. And then again, remember, all you do is flip that switch and then you just have a decor item. That's why I bought them. So the holiday, <laughs> there you go, that's the truth. And I know yeah. there, we're seeing them there right over our mantle. I know you mentioned to me, These are awesome. you like putting them actually right in your gas fireplace, yeah, right? Yeah, I put, I put them right in here. Yep, right. because you're a romantic guy. That's exactly right. <laughs> you like setting the mood. And you know what? These will, uh, <laughs> when you have your friends over, your significant other. I love it. Um, you will be able to set the mood. They're beautiful d for decor. You're going to be able to, to now use them. Um, I, you know what? I was here selling these with um, Suzanne Runyon, and the first thing she said was, put these in your jack-o'-lantern for Halloween, and that way you oh, don't need a, a, live, a live flame, that's right? That's a great idea. Isn't that a good idea? And then give them to your kids to actually use as light to go trick-or-treating because remember these don't get hot these are led they do not get hot at all so here you're going to see the kids are going to take them to walk the dog so you can see where you're going you can see your dog's duty and then pick it up nice <laughs> here you can just walk down again you know what i keep one here in my closet 
because if the power does go out, you want to be able to see your box, right? So you can go and see what's going on in there. Um, if you just have, maybe you have large property. I know I have a niece that uses them out in a barn. Maybe if you have a shed, my husband uses it in the garage because the garage seems to have light just in one corner. But again, these are a decor item. You're gonna be able to use them now in the fall. You're gonna be able to then use them through Christmas. And you know, as you saw them earlier back uh, over there over our fireplace, I actually take the little handle off when I use them as a decor item. Yeah. We still have the gold and it's, um, it makes it a little classier. So you can go either way with these, right? I, I yeah, yeah, I bought them because of this. <laughs> <That's> yeah. <right. laughs> I, you know why? Because when, when these kinds of bulbs came out, they were really, really expensive. And they were charging like 40 bucks for one light bulb that did this. You're getting all three of these for $24.95. So look around your house. Where would you love to have a little candlelight? <clears throat> Yep. And it's and actually it's it's it has the light of like about ten candles. It's I mean they really flicker. They look great at holiday time. You can hang them from a string outside. And remember they're LED, <clears throat> so you get the batteries. We include the batteries, and because they're LED, they just sit battery powered. They last forever. I mean I, you will not have to spend money more money on batteries for at least a year. I'm just telling you they're great that way. Yeah. Um, and if you like camping, if you just want to set the mood somewhere. You want to give them to your kids, you get three lanterns for $24.95. You can use them as your traditional lantern there. Right. You can use them as a searchlight. When you want to use it as a searchlight, you just take the hook, pop it out, flip it over the top, and then put it right in there. And now you have like the traditional little search lantern, right? You know, the one you hold, you know, it's great for fishing and stuff yeah. like that. And then you simply uh, put it back where it was, open it, and now you have the other mode where, that makes it look like candlelight. I, I mean, I would pay, honestly, I pay $24.95 for one of these. Yeah. You're getting three today. It's a great deal. Yeah, it really is. Yeah. And these make great gifts. You know, coming up three now, boxes. think of the teachers. Yeah, they're individually boxed with the batteries. Think about your teacher gifts. Think about the secret Santa, all of those things. But not only, just remember, if you're gonna buy them for a gift, I'll tell you, you're gonna get it home and you're gonna use it yourself and you will use it more places than you think. You'll put it in that closet that doesn't have quite enough light. I use one on my, my nightstand because when I get home late from work, yeah. I don't wanna wake up my husband with the big bright light. Mm -mm. I turn this on, I, I plug up my phone, I do what I need to do and then I just flick it off. You, you That's should, it. I would stock up on these because we yeah. have a ton of people that are calling right now. And you know, although our theme of the day is an emergency I mean these you would use anytime yeah. you know a lot of the stuff in an emergency you're, you hope you never have to use it because it's emergency stuff um, these you're, I mean you're gonna you're gonna be like you know when October comes right yes. even then you're gonna be like oh my gosh I'm gonna put these all over to decorate and they look so nice but they really I love that light I, I like I tell you I mean I have a regular wood-burning fireplace but it's Florida people I don't have a, I'll, I'll actually turn the, the, I'll turn the AC down to 50 and I will have a fire just to use it. But I love the look of the fireplace. Put them right in there. Obviously when there's no fire in there, put them in there and now hey, you have the look of like glowing flames right. inside there or put them behind something. I did that because I have one of them, I have a, uh, I have this big planter that goes up like this and then there's a little wall shelf. I put it behind it, it looks like I have a candle back there. You know, I had no idea you were so like creative you know, like I, that. I, you really you are. Got, <laughs> brother, gotta set the mood. I gotta get, I gotta get, you know, I wanna set the mood but for the party. Look, look how nice out here. See, this is one of those items, you're gonna use it during the holiday but you will not pack them up and put them away. Uh-uh, you're gonna keep them out. You'll use them hiking and camping and fishing. And you know, oh, I have to mention, my daughters who are in college, first thing they said is tailgating. We're totally taking these for tailgating. We have a flashlight, we have a light. So think about yeah. that, it's NFL season, you know? Um, but there's just, they're versatile, there's three different <clears throat> uses and you get three of them. You know what I like to they're safe. All right, Very you know, safe. and listen, I, as much as I love candlelight, you know, I'm all about the candlelight, but but I know, you know, candles can be, well, first you gotta babysit them and they, right. and they evaporate over time. If this falls over, yeah, then you got no trouble. problem. And you're not gonna give a, a young kid a candlelight <laughs> right. to, to walk around the house when the power's out. Right. But you will definitely use this. Even if you're just walking the dog, I would have one of these, clip yeah. it onto a backpack, right? So when yeah. you're out and about, you got light, bring them to work. You never know when you're gonna need it. It'd be great if you were just using them for camping, but people use them to decorate. They use them in an emergency. They use them, like, like we said, you know, when the power goes out, all you need to do with this guy yeah. is just slide it open and hit the button and you got light. That's it. Hours and hours and hours and hours of light. 
Yeah. That's what I like. You know what? They're neat, too, for night lights because you can. You know, like for the little ones, I remember my daughter. Yeah. She was kind of scared of the dark. She didn't want to get up to go yeah. use the restroom. Well, if she had a little night light like that, then she could actually pick it up and take it with her. I want a little night yeah, light when do. I have to get up to go to the bathroom. <laughs> well, you can have the blues I for want you. my own little night light. <laughs> Hey, we're guys, you know, we need light in there. You know, we gotta make sure we're, you know, we're in the right region. Anyway, my, my producer's car is like, okay, oh that's God. enough. Oh the, the, the hook is coming out, they're pulling me out. <laughs> All right, if you want it, it's only $24.95, $15 off HSN's price and only $8 on your credit card to get it delivered home. Use our credit card and get a discount. If you don't have a brand new HSN credit card, get one and we'll discount your very first item. 628184, huge customer pick. And another one of the things you know, Yvette knows that Yvette brings that are really cool and not really expensive. <laughs> That's right. Love it. All right, we already got people buying the fire aid. This stuff is, I'm telling you, it's magic in a can. You got a fire or you want to extinguish your fire because you're leaving the campsite? Don't throw water on it. Ain't enough. You got to put the fire aid on there. Developed by the man uh, who, uh, uh, I'll tell you, knows all about this stuff. Got experience in the field, and he's like, I gotta get something that is really gonna extinguish out that fire quickly. Use it indoors, use it outdoors. Super strong formula. Non toxic, don't have to worry about nothing like that. If it catches fire, you need to put it out quickly. By the time you even reach your fire extinguisher, it may be out of, out, out of control already. Don't get rid of your fire extinguisher, that's important. But you need something that's right there at the ready. We're gonna give you four cans of this. And where do you see it work? I, I mean, I, I've seen Peter um, on the little uh, a little demo that we have online, but I'd never seen it in person because when I aired it, it was raining outside, and you can't have a fire indoors. So I, I didn't. I, I haven't gotten to see it work. Peter says he's going to let me use it. I can't wait. Anyway, that's coming up a little bit. Mr. Bill Duggan, hello, my friend. How are you? I am. Well, let me tell you, I'm really happy to see Renew it back. Right. I have owned one of these things since it first came out. I had one for years and years and years. I actually had mine for like seven years. Yeah. Before it finally went on me. But I had it for seven years. And I will tell you, this is gonna, it paid for itself about a hundred times over. What this is going to allow you to do is take batteries, any batteries that you have. They don't have to just be the rechargeable nope. batteries. That's a myth. Any of the batteries you have and recharge them back mm -hmm. to almost full strength. And it doesn't matter what they are. I know that, you know, the, the, the battery companies are the ones that spread this thing that you need to get rid of your batteries after they're dead. Mm -hmm. The battery cell still has the potential to hold power. It just needs a way to get the power back into the battery. And that's what Renew It Deluxe does. This is the best kept secret in the battery world. And that is that batteries can be used over For real? and over and over again. What kind? Single A, double A, triple A, lithium, alkaline, nine volt. Yes, 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 yes. 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 It works on all those, uh, multiple sizes at once. And this even has a little, this is the little USB Two in it? USB ports. Two USB so you can charge your phone or your tablet at the same time. Available in black, available in silver, and available in blue. Mm -hmm. Honestly, one of the, one of the greatest for early purchases. When I came here, I'm like, I got all these batteries and I'm just gonna throw them away. And that's just it, we all have batteries in our home, whether it's the Halloween decorations, yes. the Christmas decorations, or as we're talking about being prepared for those storms, because there's nothing worse when you go and you have that power outage and you grab that flashlight and wait, it's not working, but I need batteries. So what do we do? We go spend more money. Or as Guy was talking about, or we're gonna show you, those batteries that you already own, you can regenerate them. So my flashlight's not working and I just lost power, or more importantly, I need to take it camping or whatever. So I go and shop for another D battery, or I come down to my Renew It. Because remember, this can renew any size battery a, almost about a dozen times over to 99% yeah. of its original strength. So I come down here to my Renew It. I already have a D battery in here, already charging, which you can see nice, because you can see the LED screens right over here. That's the best part right so there. So easy to follow. I have a D battery, I have a C battery, I have a double A, a triple A, a nine volt, and I have space for more. And once this is fully charged, oh look, my D battery right here is good. So instead of going to the grocery store, the hardware store, and buying a pack of batteries, I can just pop in my D battery, the one that's been regenerated, and guess what? I'm gonna have that battery power that I needed without having to make another purchase. And that's where Guy was true about how it pays for itself. Because whether it's the flashlight, the remote control, the smoke detector, the clock in the kitchen, we all have a need for batteries. But what they do with the Deluxe is they put in two USB ports. So 
we all have got our cell phones, so now I need to charge my cell phone. I can dock it right over here. It's gonna charge up. I have my other USB port right there on the side, right here, so I can put something in the cradle, whether it's a tablet or another phone. That's how we use this for today. Because yes, we have USB charging needs, but we still have battery needs throughout our home. And the best part about it too is you see how easy it is to use because you can see the screen right down here. That's the best. This part. one tells me I don't have to because this is what we used to do. You know, this just came out of the remote control. It's probably still going to work, so we hold on to it. Right. But now we know it's fully charged again, 99% of its original strength. And if it was bad, where it could not be regenerated, yeah. it would clearly say bad, yeah. and then you could recycle that, it. That's the best part, and what I, what I did when I bought mine is, uh, and I'm so glad to be, see it back, because I'm gonna buy yeah. another one. I, I, I didn't even know we carried and this And yours probably anymore. didn't have the USB ports. No, which, and no, mine was yeah. the original, but it, what I loved is it had the little monitor. Mm -hmm. So I would take, I have a, I have a drawer next to, um, next to where my sink is, there was a drawer there, and underneath that is the battery drawer, and that's where a lot of the batteries went. I now have a battery organizer, which I love, but my battery organizer doesn't have a charger. Right. These, I can take the batteries that have been sitting there and I can plug them in and I can see by the little, by the little gradient thing there how full they are. And if it's moving, that means it's charging. When it's solid, that means the battery is good. Mm -hmm. And as Bill said, up to, I mean, almost a dozen times you can do it over and over and over and it'll come back to 99% of its charging power. Why would you throw away or recycle a battery that you can use 11 more times. And the thing is, that's why this is not in retail. That's why you don't see it at no, the no, drugstore, no, at the they hardware want, store. The battery companies are like, mm -mm, no bueno. They're dressing like shrubs and they're taking them and they're throwing them away. They that's, don't want anybody to see that. That's this. why you gotta get it here and try it. <laughs> because if you do go to the hardware store, like, you know, I just need one D battery, but I gotta buy a four pack. Right. Or I need one double A battery for the remote control, but I gotta buy a 24 pack. And we've all been there where it's like, okay, can't get the TV remote to work, so we go to the back, we fiddle with the batteries, and then we realize someone took the battery. Because where did that battery end up? Probably the kids took it for their devices and controls. And we start pirating batteries because we want them and need them in the house. This allows us to regenerate the batteries we already have. So when this starts to go dead or the remote starts to go dead, just put it in the Renew It. It can recharge a AA or AAA battery within an hour and a half to 95% of its original strength. Also, what you're gonna run into, how many of us are gonna be doing this? Getting out the holiday decorations, right? We love them because you know a lot of them are battery operated. Yeah, yeah, you I'm, actually- I'm Pretty much every one in my house. Right, you just yeah. have this on, it's battery operated. And what do we do? It was like, oh, I wanna turn it on again. Oh, batteries are gone. Don't go buy more batteries. Pop out the batteries that are already in there, regenerate them, and enjoy saving the money and enjoy using it. Because, you know, my mom got the flameless candles, but we'd always like, oh, let's turn on the candles. She's yeah. like, no, no. That's what I have. She didn't want and, to waste and the I, battery. I leave, I have mine on every single day. So I, I go through battery life. Mm -hmm. I mean, probably, because I use mine so much, I probably have to put new batteries in probably every, maybe five, six weeks. When but you have this, you take the batteries out. Now remember, you have, you have a charge drawer, pull those out, and all you're doing is you're running them in a recycling. And, and exactly. you don't have to, you know, because I also take, when I have dead batteries, I take them in a big bag and I bring them to the battery store like once every couple, of, three months. Yeah, recycle. And recycle them. But you're gonna get to recycle them yourself and utilize them over, mm -hmm. over, like we said, up to a dozen times. I mean, when you think about what you pay for like a little pack of batteries, right? You probably pay $12 for a pack Easy. of batteries. If you get, 12 more uses out of that, okay? That's $144. That you're saving and that's, on batteries. And that's what they don't know that you have the Renew It. But if they knew you could reuse these dozens of times over, the batteries that we already have or the batteries you're picking up today, they, I mean, even like this, the lanterns you were just selling, the batteries that are included, if the batteries get keep going and going and going, that's where you're like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Is it, is it that battery companies just want to sell you rechargeable batteries? They just want you to keep having to go back because yeah. more often than not, we need one or two because batteries. Because there's ones that say they're rechargeable and I believe that. And there are those out there that are more expensive. But right. what this technology does, does, the ones that are copper top, the ones with the yeah. bunny, they can be regenerated. Right. And so we don't have to spend the exorbitant price. So that's the difference. They do something special to the battery that they have so that it can be recharged. Right. Whereas, because the, the old technology, you, you can't recharge old batteries because of the way the conduit is, probably mm -hmm. the way you're touching. This compensates for that so that you can recharge. So it bridges the gap. So you can, because when you think about a battery, I mean, a battery's a battery. You ever read out online, it's like, oh, buy more expensive batteries, and they're like, no, a battery, a battery is a battery, mm -hmm. okay? It's like, don't go spend twice as much, use the, use the economy batteries. And that's, and that's what we do, and, but then we can actually reuse them. That's yeah. the real genius of this product, and that's where it's almost an ATM for your batteries, because you think about it, 
am I using batteries as much? Maybe not, but we have that covered too. But that smoke detector in your house, that has a battery. The wall clock in the kitchen has a battery. Some of our personal medical devices, we love them, but they even run on batteries. But you know what's cool? As we've evolved even to the USB generation of headphones and cameras and you know even our portable battery packs that we love, they need to be regenerated via USB. So this power station takes care of the battery needs, takes care of the USB charging needs. Android or Apple, doesn't yeah, matter. Yeah, yeah. As long well. as it needs that U, that USB is universal. So perfect. But then I just appreciate it because you know, we've been there where the kids' toy starts to die down, right? So what is it? You go pirate a battery from somewhere, you go yeah. spend more money, or you just take these batteries out, you pop them in the Renewit, and what's cool about the way this is designed, so say these batteries were drained down, I pop it into the Renewit, and you're gonna see it's gonna start to matriculate up. It's gonna start to regenerate. So within an hour and a half, this battery's gonna be good to go again. There it goes, it just popped up on the screen. I didn't go spend more money. And remember, these are not rechargeable batteries. These are just ones we have here, but you have some in a drawer yeah. or in the freezer. Regenerate <clears throat> them and get that money you know, back and reuse them again. Batteries to me, or mm -hmm. every battery you have, I, I'd like you to think of as a dollar bill. Because that's about what a battery costs. Right. They cost about a dollar each, yeah. right? So you buy, you, I mean, time you know, and you time buy, again. Like, when you buy a pack of batteries, you know, they're, they're 75 cents to a dollar for each individual battery. Think how many dollars you're gonna save on this, because every dollar equals about a battery, and you're saving maybe, you know, 100 batteries a year. That's 100 bucks you're gonna save. So don't think about paying $50 once. Think about the amount of times that you're gonna utilize each one of those batteries. So rather than a battery costing you a dollar, it may cost you a dollar, but it's worth $12. Yeah because you're using it over and over and over again. If you'd like to get this home, we have them available. It's on FlexPay, it's only $16.98. We have not seen this for a while. We finally brought it back and I'm excited because now I can buy a new one. Upgrade. I, didn't, I couldn't find them. No, and it has the two USB ports, which is great, and this is also the only chance of the day to get it. And you, yeah, and you can't find this anywhere else. No, just It's here. not in retail. You're not, the battery companies, <laughs> they go, they're taking them on, throwing them out in the back. <laughs> All right, Bill, thank you, not really. Bill, thank you, buddy. Hey, it's my good pleasure. to see you. Hey, we're gonna run outside. There's a fire out there. We got the right way to put it out with Fire Aid. Be right back. Hi, neighbors. It's Josh and Brent. We're the Spence. founders of Beekman 1802. And you know, we've been here at HSN for one whole year already. We hope you'll join us all month to see what kind of specials we have up our sleeves. Shop like a VIP with the HSN credit card. Apply now and instantly get $10 off when you're approved. As an HSN card member, you'll get all kinds of perks, like extra flex on jewelry, beauty, and fashion purchases all day, every day. Plus, VIP financing, VIP easy returns, exclusive offers, and there's no annual fee. Apply now. Call 1-800-695-1418 or visit hsn.com slash hsncard. This is the first generation that they say to women, what do you want to be? I have to do what I want to do. If I don't do it now, I will never do it. Women acquire enormous freedom with age. The greatest freedom is to say, this is who I am. I don't want to hide my age. But if they say, you look elegant, you look sophisticated, that's a compliment. Join Isabella Rossellini for Lancome's Renergy Multiglow, only on HSN. You can't afford not to be brave. It's not even an option. When life puts a wall in front of you, you break it down. Remove the fear. Remove the uncertainty. Be authentic. They say fortune favors the bold. I've been bold all my life, and I don't plan on stopping anytime soon. Remote controls are the same? Think again. Now when you're watching HSN and you see something you want, you can use your remote control to order it. It's fast, it's easy, and it's a safe way to order. With HSN, shop by remote. Hey, welcome back everybody, we're outside and I am excited. This is called Fire Aid. It's taken the world by storm, at least HSN by storm. This is a way to extinguish fires as quickly as you possibly can. When you order Fire Aid, you're gonna get four of these, okay? Instantly douses any kind of a fire, campfire, outside fire, inside fire, grease fire. You get four of them. We got fires going, I wanna see how it works. Come on over, I've never seen this live before. 
They're, this is going to sell out. Pete Kilcullen is here. Awesome. Right, what do I do? Guy, I know you got to work with Ron, but you yeah, were inside because yeah. it was raining that day. So we got a couple fires there. So let's get right there. Let's hit that first can right there so we can see how this can instantly cool that surface of the fire. Now, now that you've, you've kind of put that fire down, you can walk closer and really just fire some in there and cool that off. You know, go right to the next one. What? And look at that. It's amazing. Oh, hold on. Too late. They're <laughs> I, I knew he was going to go so fast. I got super excited Done. about doing that. It's amazing. But, guy, the great thing about this is that this is an ordinary can. That's very awesome. similar to the bug spray. Like, you never ha have used this before. Never. But there's no learning curve. There's nothing you have to do to kind of figure this out. And if you're like me, you've never used a regular fire extinguisher before. You have to pull that pin and kind of figure it out. Here, it is super easy. Now, if there's... Out. I mean, that one you hit quite a bit is totally cool. I mean, if I hit that one now, it's gonna immediately cool that surface. It is amazing what this can do. But guy, it's different than that fire extinguisher because you could use this because it's so easy, because it's readily available, you're getting four. What about those other times? Here's a great example. We're looking at the tailgate. You know that it was just yesterday we kicked it off. It's the most popular time for tailgating. You can cool off those, that charcoal. You can cool off the entire grill in seconds. Put it back in your car. You ever see all the grills left outside oh, yeah, yeah, the ta yeah. after tailgating you, you when everyone goes into the game? I, I don't know if you remember when Danny was little and he, he was at this camp on right. the beach and somebody had had a bonfire the night before and didn't extinguish the coals. Danny that, got third degree burns on his knees. That is, the kids jumped in the pit. That is an absolutely amazing yeah. example of God. why this is so great. Campfires, bonfires, things like this. Make sure that you put that out or just have one. I was always nervous when the kids were little, all running around a campfire. You never know, things can happen, but you can be safe. And look how small, look how compact. And all it is, all you gotta do is press that button. That's it. You've done it before with so many different cans like this that you have at home, so there's no learning curve. But this is <coughs> e um, eco-friendly, so it's not yeah. toxic, it's biodegradable super easy water-based formula so if you have to spray it anywhere around your yard or on your grill you could just rinse it off or wipe it off it's and, fantastic and it's especially good on grease fires and let me tell you I worked in the restaurant business for a long time as you know and grease fires you know they they have a special chemical that's above uh, everywhere in a kitchen that puts out grease fires because if you put water on them it well, spreads the fire and I know we get that question a lot guy because as I just mentioned this is water-based but you can use this on those grease fires. It's much different than those powdered fire extinguishers. So you will get a flare Less up. messy too. Right, but you'll get a, <laughs> yeah, they're messy too on grease fires. You'll get a flare up, but then it'll immediately cool that surface of the grease. It'll bring it down and it will be effective against those grease fires. So I think you're gonna be excited. And don't forget, with a grease fire, you're able to stand back those 15 feet and hit that. Yeah, we're so, wait. Let me, let me update everybody. Okay, so we brought in 8,700 for this visit. Kyle, how many left? 1,600 left. That is how quickly these go. And listen, I'm not telling you, and I'm not poo-pooing your fire extinguisher. Everybody no, needs to sure. have those. But by the time you get down under the sink, you don't even know if it's still got anything left in it because you don't use it that often, right? By the th all that time, that fire's getting out of control. Wouldn't you just grab this? Boom, that's what you do. This is there at the ready. So keep one indoors, maybe keep one out by your barbecue, definitely one in your kitchen. I'd have one of these anywhere that there's potential for something to break out in right. a fire, right? Gotta bring it when you go camping, fishing, boating, all that stuff. You need to have one of these. And it was the guy that created it, is, is, what's his first name again? Ron, Ron. Ron, yep. I met Ron, and Ron is the guy, he's behind it. He's like, exactly. you know what, I, I developed this product because I knew there was a need for it. Regular fire extinguishers are great, and, and they're great in an emergency, but they take time to get to, and a lot of people don't know where, they, they may have one fire extinguisher and it's in the kitchen. What if you have a fire somewhere else? You gotta run all the way to the kitchen, keep these things handy. And this, yes. we extinguished all three of those fires with one can. Yeah, exactly. These cans are gonna last five years, five years shelf life when you have them at home. But you're right, Ron's all over the world, you know, spreading, um, you know, all the facts about fire aid. Thousands of fire departments around the country are using it, the military. And I want to show you something, guys. This is kind of cool. I think you'll like this. Because we're talking about this being a water, <laughs> guy steps back, a water-based formula and how it can be effective on those grease fires. So this is a road flare. There we go. Pop that on. So, guy, so we've got a road flare, and it burns extremely hot. And I want to show you this. I'm going to put this in this bowl of water. So when I put this in the bowl of water... What? Nothing happens. Well, that's it's supposed to work on the roadside, right? When you when you're in the in rain. The rain and all so that? now I want you. Now here's a cool thing. We're gonna put out this flare. You're gonna do it. You don't have to worry about getting it on my hand. That's gonna be fine because it's water based. So go ahead, put that out. Get it all in there. Hit that again for me. Look at that. 
So there you go. We put this underwater and it Sweet. didn't do anything. <laughs> Guy's still all the way on the other side of the studio. Right. It's okay. We were able to put that out even though it's water-based. And see that, it's on my arm, it's on my hands. Oh, you're exactly, thanks Guy, forget that. That's it, you can just wipe that off and you're set to go. So that's what's so great about this. So what if you had to put out a fire, even if it was on an automobile or if it's on an appliance or something like that in your kitchen, you're not gonna have to worry about it because it is water-based and you can wipe it off, you can rinse it off with water wherever it is. So you were talking about where you can have it. Most of the fires in a household are gonna happen in that kitchen, so definitely one in the kitchen. Also in a laundry room, when we think about a dryer that can get really hot, things like that. Certainly in the garage is a great one, Guy, if you're using your garage as a workshop. But more importantly, what about keeping one in your car? Guy, have you, Dude, how many times have you seen I, car fires and just weird things happening what on the you're, roads? You're, yeah, you're driving down the road. Yep. You know when I was in Arizona? You drive down the road and you would see somebody threw a cigarette outside and, and there's a, you could see there's a little fire it's on the crazy. side of the road. Yep. This instantly extinguishes, and I can't emphasize enough, biodegradable, eco-friendly, okay? You saw Pete, I sprayed it right on Pete's hand. I was gonna spray it all over him, make sure he didn't catch fire. <laughs> hey, really quick, it's we, so we have something use. available that I think you should pick up. This is a little magnetic carrier, and what this this can go anywhere, you know, on a fridge or whatever, and it In your sticks workshop, to the we've side. Got it on a toolbox, and yep. then you can put the can on. Did you see that? I'll do it again. Watch this. Now you're ready to go. All right, the item number right there. It's only $19.95 from Fire Aid if you want to get that. Let me uh, explain the offer again for you. You're going to get all four of these. All right. Uh, these these are I I mean these are for any type of fire rescue you need to do and sort of rescue your home maybe there's a fire in the corner we just lit more fires you see smokes getting in our eyes we're gonna put those fires out in a matter of seconds using this it's on flex pay it's a customer pick we should get over there right so Pete. grab grab one remember this is there's no learning curve it's that same can that you've used you know a bug spray is one that comes to mind that it's a very similar can where are you going guy you want I'm to do that to get out so of again black, toxic i know smoke. so let's put that first one out and i want you to see how it can instantly just you know extinguish that fire but now guy be just if there was one fire that now you'd be able to move closer and then to make sure that that's completely out you can cool that surface immediately so go ahead guy i'm gonna go do the one on this end all right. I'll stay, I'll stay far away Again, from it. Again, that, that is the advantage when using fire aid, that you can be at a safe distance when you need to extinguish that I, fire. I want everybody to see how, that they don't have to get yep. up close. Okay, watch. I mean, so if you stop there, you've done a great job, but now it gives you the chance to move close and completely extinguish and cool that surface. So I'll go on this other one from a good distance as well. So I'm over here. You can cool that fire. <laughs> you guys also getting involved. And now I'm able to get a little bit closer and now I can completely cool that surface down. So depending upon where this is, but making sure a fire's out in your house is super important. But we're talking about having these available when you want to be Pete. safe around a campfire. How about so many of us like to have a fire pit around the house and the backyard, and then it's time to go in and go to sleep. Making sure you completely put that out is so important. It, Charcoals with a grill, tailgating with a grill, this is so important. It's not just out. I mean, I am amazing? right here. There's no heat coming out. I mean, this has been doused. You saw that it was like raging. I mean, this fire has been doused. Look at it. I mean, because a lot of fires, you think you put them out, and then they restart again. Right. Because we've uh, we've saturated them with the can, we know we're good to go. And and if you'll notice too, there's no mess. All that all that uh, extinguishing has been done in a focused area. Exactly. Not like you know with a with an extinguisher. You're like, oh, with, wait, look out! With water, guy, you can initially put out that fire, but it doesn't do anything to cool I get the that time whole to go area. Get water? Yeah, exactly. And many times, you know, we have a campfire. We think we have enough water, but it's like you talked about with the bonfire on the beach. We think we've put it out, but we really haven't. That's why it's great to have this around. So certainly for emergencies, but I think it's important to have this around when you do those other recreational activities. Tailgating, definitely barbecue grills maybe you're you know using fireworks over the summer but don't forget take this with you give it to the kids when they're going away to college I know so many kids have gone back to college right now so it really is important to have something like this when they're going and they're microwaving pizza boxes you remember yeah. doing that guy oh yeah buddy <laughs> that's right hey by the way let me remind you you're getting four so you know I mean honestly we have people buying two and three sets of these um, which I would, I mean, and, and remember, not just for fire, but extinguishing coals. Right. Um, I, I can't emphasize enough how important it is. 
to extinguish a fire completely when you leave a campsite. You know, and, and I, you know, I wasn't kidding about what happened to Danny, and it wasn't, you know, we, we laugh a little bit about it now, about you were a kid, you jumped in a big pit, you didn't know any better, but it, right. it, it was bad. I mean, he literally sure. entered the hospital, he had burns on his knees, because they had just put sand over it, the sand didn't put the fire out. The coals were just brewing under there from the night before, so this is the way we'll do that. When I was a kid, I'll tell you one more quick story. Do it. My brother and I, it's Christmas time, we go to grandma's house, by this time, my brother Darren could drive, so we didn't have to stay at grandma's any longer than we needed to. Right. So, so we came back home before my parents did, sitting in our chairs, and this is the old days where we had the old-fashioned Christmas lights on the outside tree, the ones sure. that got hot. The hedges caught fire in front of the house. Unbelievable. We were doing the we were doing the old fire drill with the buckets of water, and it wouldn't. It took us forever to get that out. You know what, guy? You've told two stories on the air about your experience, yeah. bad experience with what, what fire can do. All of us have these same exact stories, so that's why we know we should have fire aid around. If we've had one fire extinguisher in the house and we haven't looked at it in 10 years, this is why we should do it, not just for those big emergencies that happen in the house, and they can happen, but for all those other places and things that we're doing. I want everyone to understand the biggest question is, we do get questions about is it effective on grease fires? It will be effective. You're gonna have an initial flare up, but it will cool that surface, and it will be effective against those grease fires. So have one in the kitchen and one in the laundry room, the garage and one in the car. You get four of them, all right? And it really does the job. If you want to get $10 off, we've got an 8 cent credit card for you. Everybody that signs up brand new will get $10 off their first order, making that $26 instead of the uh, $27, or instead of $36, so grab it while you can. All right, Pete, we're going to shift gears. We're going to talk about probably my favorite, my favorite tool I've ever bought here, which is the pole saw. Peter knows why. Pete's been in my house. You've seen I got palm trees. I got stuff, all kinds of trimming to do. The reason I got this one is because it's not just a pole saw, it's also a handheld chainsaw. It has an extender pole that you can put inside so that you can reach areas you never thought you could reach. There's no gas, there's no fumes. It's, it's a tenth of the noise of a regular combustible engine, ch engine chainsaw. All you do is put a little bit of oil in the little uh, bar and chain oil um, slot on top and that lubricates the chain. Other than that, pull the trigger, it's on, let go of the trigger, it turns off. Lots of safety features built in. I yeah. love the two-in-one because like I said, sometimes you need to do a job right in front of you. Right. And sometimes you gotta do stuff that's way up above you. Yeah, exactly. I, I think, you know, that's an option and many people have had to decide, do I want a handheld chainsaw like this or do I want that pole saw? This is a great opportunity. Anytime we can say two and one, I think that's pretty nice. Oh yeah. So why don't I demonstrate how well this works as a handheld chainsaw? And then the other nice part is I can go from a handheld chainsaw to the pole saw in about 10 seconds, which is pretty nice. So we've got it all ready to go as our handheld chainsaw. I'll show you that 10 inch bar and chain. I'll go through that again, but let's see how this is gonna work. And the nice thing is you'll see how smooth it is. And we've picked a pretty nice size limb right there. Guy, what do you think? That's at least a four inch Look at limb, that. I would think. And it's, you, you saw that it nice smoothly and cleanly, it'll go through that limb. And I always like to show that, that I'm, I'm not holding on to this with any extra strength. You're not no. fighting with it. It allows you to have a nice smooth cut, which is maybe the most important thing. So watch this, I just let the saw do the work. I don't have to do anything but let it work its way through. I mean, and that is a sizable limb. So if you're interested in cutting firewood, this is gonna be perfect. Anything like that, it's gonna be great. And remember, this might just be the perfect time of year to grab your pole saw, chainsaw, because as we move into the winter, so we're gonna be in the fall, and when we say fall cleanup, here's what you're gonna be doing, cutting down those dead limbs, cutting down those limbs that are close to the house that could potentially cause trouble as we get the heavy snow and the heavy rains through the winter time and it gets really close to the house. Pull, pull out your chainsaw, cut all that stuff back so you don't have any issues with the roof and the windows later on. So a perfect time to get your chainsaw back. So Guy, why don't we show how we can go? This is the best part, watch this. You like this? Yeah, we're gonna switch it out. Now well, we've got a job that's way up above our head. Sure. We never get on a ladder with a chainsaw. <laughs> Let the professional, if you got a job that's that high up, don't do it. But if you can use the pole saw, which I use more than anything else, all you do is disconnect. Pete, take us through. Yeah, so you disconnect right there, and now I'm going to use the part that's, that's our powered part, where it's plugged in. I push that together and snap that toggle down. Then I go up to the top, and I'm gonna take that, push this together. You can see it automatically lifts that 
snap that down, and we are ready to go. That's how simple and easy it is. Then we have the collar right here where I can extend this fully. That's the best. <laughs> this is a little warm. Yeah, it's a little warm <laughs> It's been today. sitting in the sun for about an hour. Yeah, it's hot out yeah, here. Yeah, so you can extend that pole. So the pole by itself is just under eight feet. And now, with me holding this, I can reach 10, 12 feet in the air. All right, I'll go right there. And again, you lay that on there, and it does a great job just wow. like that. I'm gonna go to the other side. Same thing, just lay that saw on there and you're set to go. You always wanna have this at about a 45 degree angle, which is where we're at. And the nice thing about this one, so two in one, which is pretty nice, but then you have, let me see if I can turn it this way and show you this a little better. So we have a button right here. So now you can articulate that head and set that position. So it's gonna be the easiest for you to reach out, up and over at a nice angle, because you never wanna be directly underneath right, the branch right. you're cutting. And that allows you to do it. So some of the other particulars, I know everyone's wondering guy, including you, 10 inch bar and chain. We have that automatic oiling system. You mentioned earlier, all you have to do is keep that bar and chain oil in there, a little window so you know there's oil in there and it's gonna automatically oil that bar and chain. I like this, this has the toolless adjustment. So while you're using your chain, or your chainsaw, that chain's gonna become a little bit loose and this is the ability to adjust it. You just wanna make sure you have the right chain tension and that allows you to do it without any tools. Actually, I was using mine that I've had for many years from Earthwise. Yeah. And mine, you actually need a tool to do that chain adjustment. So this is Same, much yeah, easier. Yeah, mine too, mine's yeah. older. I've had mine for about four or five years maybe now, probably even yeah. longer than that, I've had mine. My brother Darren lives up north and he's got a house up in Vermont and he, and he does a lot of his own landscaping and he's like, guy, greatest thing you've ever bought me because I use that That's thing right. all the time. We absolutely love it. Um, you know, he cuts firewood up there with it. Um, you can take down any kind of branch. We use it here in Florida for a lot of the, uh, you know, the, the um, Palm trees, because the fronds are constantly need to be pruned. Um, you, a simple uh, adjustment, and now it becomes your handheld chainsaw. And I'll show you that whole thing, how to switch it out in just a bit, but it is for my money for $79. I paid $129 for mine. Yeah. I paid $40 more for mine. I mean, we've been yeah. talking about that guy and I before we bucks. came out here. It's a great value. I mean, if it was just a pole saw, or just the handheld chainsaw, yeah. it really is a nice value. But I like that you're getting both because now you don't have to choose. Sometimes you like to take down those larger limbs and now you can cut them to size and now you can have them for firewood. But think about all those limbs right now. You know, here in Florida, I have two big oak trees in front of the house. Yeah. And I have to call someone eventually to clean out all the upper parts of that tree. But the great part is, I don't have to do it every year or even every other year because anything that's close to the driveway or close to the front door or the kind of like the windows of the house, I can reach it with this. So now rather than having someone come every year, I can put that off more and more by using this chainsaw and the handheld. Did you want to have a go? Yeah, you know, so, and if you don't want to break it down, you don't have to. If you feel yeah, better. So, uh, you were going to use that? Yeah. Yep. If you that feel makes better. Sense. And I don't know if I can get here like so this. So what I've done is I've shortened it all the way. It's still the pole saw, but now it's shortened as much as possible. So if you have a little bit of intimidation about using a chainsaw or a pole saw, you can be further away from where all the action is taking place by using it as the pole saw, I love which mine. is a good option for everyone. But if anyone's intimidated about ever using a chainsaw, I find this is the least intimidating chainsaw we've ever had because it is so easy to use. There's a lot of safety features involved, which I can show you. But you I mean, just finish easy. that piece, you, yeah. you let go of the trigger, it stops. It won't let you reactivate the chainsaw unless you go through the same steps on the, uh, the safety features as yeah. well. So one thing I can show you, you know what, I'm gonna break it down to that handheld and it'll, it'll give us the opportunity to show you all the safety features a lot easier. So again, so quick to change that, just pull it apart. Put the pole there. Now watch this. I just snap that together, click that in place. I love it. I mean, you can really do that in seconds. I, I use mine a lot like this, but but it's funny. It, it's, it depends on what season it is. I keep right. the pole part on um, when I'm doing um, trimming of the taller, you know, palm trees. You got to trim those things all the time. Exactly. Otherwise, they fall down in your grass, and you got to move them that way. So, and and the, the key to a healthy tree is to get rid of all the. Right. The extra trees that are out there. Guys laughing because we put the fires out, but it apparently still seems like we're on fire Yeah, out here. yeah, we are hot. It's hot I mean, out here today, but we're doing <laughs> all right. But I will tell you, honestly, especially ladies out there, if somebody told you you can't use a chainsaw, let me tell you something. 
prove them wrong because there's n this is a chainsaw anybody can use. I don't care if you're small stature, tall, thin, doesn't matter. You know, you know, a lot of people sit there, oh, you know, you gotta be, you gotta be a big husky guy to, no, that's a, Not bunch at of, all. that's a bunch of bull. You need to use this because a lot of you, you know, like, like uh, I, I say, maybe you're living alone. Maybe, maybe uh, your partner is gone and you wanna be able to get out there and trim your trees. You can do it. And the money you save, one day of a landscaper being there for two hours is at least $100. Here they charge you usually by the tree. Yeah. And it's usually 40 to 50 bucks a tree. I, I would say easily. Maybe you more. You were talking about that with the palm trees. If yeah. you have you know, seven or eight palm trees. Oh yeah, you'll go 300 it's bucks. It, they'll, be there, they'll be there an hour and they'll charge you $300. Exactly. Yeah. You know, I, I've had it with those tall oak trees. If they came to do all of the work, it's $600. But I wanted to show you this so you can feel better about using this if you've never tried a chainsaw. This is one I recommend because it is easy. So the first thing is you, if you go to pull that trigger, it's not gonna operate. Now I don't have this one plugged in but it won't operate until you also hit the safety switch. So you go safety switch and then pull the trigger and you're set to go. But one other way we wanted to make this safe is that this has a chain break. So when you look at this right here, this is the little knuckle guard area. But if I pull that back, it means I can operate the saw. But if I wanna fully lock it out, you push that out and it completely locks out the chainsaw. If you use safety switch and the trigger, it will not operate until you pull that chain brake back in. So that again is a great feature. If you're gonna walk away from it at all, it's a great way to go. Yeah, I love, did you explain the oil part of it too, Pete? Yeah. Yeah, so you, there, just in case you joined us late, there's a little valve here that opens up right. and you can buy this oil at any hardware store and Absolutely. it'll say bar and chain oil. Yep. And what that does is it slowly trickles into the chain to lubricate the chain, and that's the key to keeping it running smoothly. I also, once when, it, when the power is off, I'll take a screwdriver, and if I see any bits or pieces, I'll scrape those out of the way, because you know, this chain goes, circulates inside here. Right. So all you do, and you can see if there's any debris there, just, just scoop it out with a screwdriver. It's easy to maintain. Other than that, Pete, yeah. when you look at a regular chainsaw, first of all, a regular chainsaw is a combustion engine. It gives off a lot of fumes. It, you gotta put gas in it, you gotta mix, sometimes you gotta put specialty oil and mix it. All these things, and, and it's heavy duty. And listen, if you need a professional chainsaw guy to come out and take down trees, hire right. them. But if you wanna manage and maintain and manicure your property, this, I'm telling you, you can do this. A lot of people, it's like, it's like the first time, you know, maybe uh, you, know, you ride a bike. I, I'll never be able to ride a bike. Then you get out there and you're like, wow, that's not so bad. This is actually exciting. You get you use this and you're like, wow, that's that's power. It I feel good about that, but it's power that isn't intimidating, which is nice. So should we head back over there and we'll let's cut go some back, more? Pete. Hey back. Pete, let's go back in the sun for a minute. Well, it wasn't much better over here. Let's it's go definitely back in hot. The sun, Pete. Is summer over, guy? No, it's hot. <laughs> no, it's hot. definitely hey, not. Hey, at least we wore the right colors. Yeah, did we? Your shirt's changing color. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was nice no, over there, I but know, it's kind of right in the sun. Yeah. But again, so we have a smaller limb here, but I want you to see this. It definitely is something that's not intimidating. I, I know that everyone can handle this, and I know, we, you know this, we have so many calls from ladies out there who have never used a chainsaw, but felt really empowered and comfortable using this. So you'll notice how smooth it is, <laughs> When we go through that wood, you don't have to do anything. You barely have to move the saw. Just let it move its way through that wood. Look at that. I think what's so cool is what you'll notice that there's not a lot of shaking. There's not a lot of kickback. There's very little vibration. And you can make those cuts over and over again. All you have to do is add that extension cord and you can definitely do this. You have a lot of control with this. Uh, Absolutely. I, and, and I think it's because it's not heavy. You know, a regular chainsaw can weigh 30, 40, 50 pounds, depending on the size sure. of the chainsaw, easily. And we wouldn't be talking right now because no. it would still be going and going idols, so loud. Yeah, idols. Yes, I yes. know, I know. And it, it, you know, it smells up the, the neighborhood. And y you know, as well as I do, when somebody's using a regular chainsaw, you can hear that about a mile or two away. <laughs> no, exactly. Right? This, you'll, you'll notice, that this is louder than some of the vacuums that we have here. I mean, it's, I mean, it's not as loud as that. Exactly. It's, it's pretty quiet considering but I love the fact that when you have a problem, you can get right out and take care of it. Exactly, and you know, we're showing it, you know, you're seeing here in the video that it's taking care of lots of different jobs. Remember, with a 10 inch bar and chain, you can handle some pretty substantial limbs, which means six, seven, eight inches in diameter, 
And then we can also handle the smaller branches. We can cut firewood, but it is a great way to go. And you're getting two in one. And I know we're running out of time, Guy, and I know you want to get back into the air conditioning, but I want to show you again how easy it this is, is how easy to it go is to switch it into a from pole the saw. handheld chainsaw. We pull that up, pull that apart. Now grab this. So this end snaps together. Put that down. Pop the then handle the top on. end, it goes in. Hey. That pops up and you're good. By the way, so about you, 10 uh, seconds. take advantage of FlexPay on this. It's only $19.99 to get it home. Try it for 30 days. If it's too much for you, then you return it. But I'm telling you, you can do this. It's very empowering to have a chainsaw. Your neighbors are gonna be like, look at that guy, he's got a chainsaw. <laughs> exactly, but and a pole saw. it's not scary. All right, Peter, great job. That was a great Thanks hour. For, it's been beautiful out here. I'm fired up. It's hot, but anyway. <laughs> Speaking of hot, let's stick around because Helen's coming up next and she's got great stuff for you. It looks a little scary. Look, it's scary, Pete. Ooh, is it Halloween? Be afraid. Oh, be be yeah. very afraid with Miss Helen Katie coming here right next. <laughs> I'm Helen Katie. This is one of my favorite shows of the entire year. I have two hours with